Uh, we're at a little village called Itaja, uh, and we're here because we're targeting a village that is uh, almost four miles away, and the people from there walk to here to get water. And you can see that there is a faucet here. It's really pressure from a, a pond that has collected water, and everybody collects water here for drinking, bathing, everything they do. And then they walk back home with the just the water that they can carry day after day. The women get up at maybe 4 a.m. to make this trek and start back. Most of them are already back at their village because they started so early. But we're here to carry water and get a sense of what they go through every day. And you can see over there with the parts, there's a place where they can, uh, a tank where people can dip buckets and fill up buckets with water. Certainly less sanitary than this spot right here, which is not pristine as you can see. Uh, but it's quicker there, a lot of them just get their water over there. It's very contaminated with cow manure, cows drinking, everything imaginable in that water. And they don't have the money to get enough firewood to boil their water which could bring us to another project called Solar Cooking, which is one of our goals. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. The weight, not so bad. Yeah. The poo, pretty bad. Yep. However, I can't complain. I do this once. Yeah. And I do this every day. That's true. And they must have really, really strong neck muscles because it's taken almost both of my hands to do this. It's kind of, it's kind of scary what they can do, what they can hold. It's really awesome though. I can't believe women do this every day. 365 days a year. Um, well, I said that we were kind of walking a mile in their shoes, but. I don't think we're really doing that because we've taken breaks and we've had drinks for water and stuff, but they haven't. And they do this every day. And I don't know, we're not that tough. I like to carry water. Um, I would probably carry all day if I could. I, might, I wish I could carry two. I'm hoping she'll fall down and start to pick hers up. Um, uh, that's about it. I like carrying water. It's a lot of trek. We're only about a mile to do it. I can't imagine doing this every day. It's crazy. See you high in the shining in the light of the glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. See you high. I'm so thankful for this day and I prayed last night before I went to bed just as we talked in our devotion that we would know what it was like to walk in someone else's shoes and today I think at the end of this journey we will realize the sacrifices that these women make each and every day we're doing this for two hours but these women walk it every day 365 days out of the year probably with a baby on their back you know, perspective is so different. We think we're bringing them this filthy stuff and we hate to even think about bringing it to them. And from their perspective, we've done this big deal, something really precious. We're bringing them water and it's the water they use every day. 